Hi, I'm Trent Williams. I am studying new venture emergence in the aftermath of the devastating earthquake that happened in Haiti. So initially, my studies looked at entrepreneurial activities in really developed countries. What I noticed was that after these big crises, um, people were organizing uh, entrepreneurial ventures. Me and my, my co-author, uh, Dean Shepard, we began asking ourselves, well, what about a less developed context? We had a general question, did ventures emerge that were led by Haitians to help victims of the disaster? And if so, how do they go about doing that? And to what end? We went in with the hope very much of talking to as many organizations as possible. We did go into several camps. We interviewed people in all different uh, types of places. And one by one, they would tell us about their experience. And it was inspiring to see how after such extreme distress, they immediately took action to help those around them. One woman in particular comes to mind. She realized that there was really poor nutrition in her community. So she created a peanut butter paste that had additional nutrients in it that was really low cost and could be a substantial upgrade from what other people were having on a daily basis. What we found is that Haitian-led ventures emerged to help fellow victims. However, as they emerged, they had different levels of success in terms of developing long-term resilience we labeled these groups sustaining ventures and then transforming ventures. While both were helping, sustaining ventures were very much still trying to get food and resources and goods from outsiders. The transforming ventures seemed to have helped people transition beyond kind of the hand-to-mouth type of living, helped people to identify housing that was more permanent, potential sources of income, or developing new skills or getting more education. And so they would empower people to make decisions to be involved in the process as well. We should try to find ways to support those activities that are most effective at developing resilience. So at a very minimum, incorporating our knowledge that these groups exist in our disaster response is important.